So in this video, we're going to um, make the UI of the login and register registration a little better. I mean, it's all right now, but yeah, we'll make it better. So I'll show you how to do it in a WXD, and the WXD um, has design kit. So uh, these are the ones I'm going to use today. But they also have other um, UI kits other people made. So. I'll leave the link to all of this in the in the description. So first if we open up a WXD, this is the Apple one. I'll show you how to create create it from scratch too, but so I open up the wires usually first and then I open up a new one as well. Let's go ahead and do iPhone. I don't even know if they have <laughs> Android to be honest, but oh it's good. Um so what I usually do, I have both of these open and you could just reuse these UI elements really. So here's the one of the navigation bars you can throw on there. Well I guess if it's the home page. Mm, usually it doesn't have a navigation. Or if they do, I mean they just won't have a back button. So we have the navigation here, so. So I just copied and pasted it here. So we'll go ahead. So this is what we have now, but we'll make it better um, as we go along. So I'll just delete that. And then, um, so we have two buttons, right? So I might honestly, oh, they have buttons here. I'll just show you how to create a button. I mean, it's easy to use. If you learned it, if you use Photoshop before, then you can do this. Uh, accidentally did that so so you want to click on the square I'll show you to make rounded corners uh, I was like dang this is long <laughs> okay so oh man oh let me grab this again all right so I'm gonna center that and then you want to make rounded corners I kind of forgot but let's see. Oh, it's right here. Okay, see right here. It's the corner radius. So let's do five. See how it rounds the corner. I guess you can't really see it. But I'll put fifteen just so you can see it better. So yeah, and you can make this a component, so you don't have to keep <laughs> doing that over and over. If you have a design and you like it, um, just right click, uh, make component or command K on. Um, Mac, and then you can also feel the color. So I'll just do blue for now. I don't know. <laughs> and um, I'll add some text here. We'll do what do we have? Register login. Oh man. Okay. I'll go ahead to change this color to white. I think I can just click this and it'll show. Yeah, okay. There's a little dropper that lets you pick a color. You can pick a hex value. Um, so I need to move this in the middle. And so really, we can just make this whole thing that we just did a component. That way, we can reuse that. And then so you just, to reuse the component, just drag and drop. And so... Login, mm, make it a little bolder. The text bold or something. If I can grab it, oh, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, this needs to move over. Okay, so, so you can pick bold here. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much the first screen. So we can copy this screen, Control C. If you tap the right here where this text is, and we can name it Home actually if you want to. It's almost like Storyboard and the Navigation Graph on Android. Storyboard on iOS, Navigation Graph on Android. So. 
So let's click the text up here to copy. Control C, Control, control <laughs> Command C, Command V on Mac. So, anyways, we'll do login. I mean, these will pretty much be the same thing. So, and um, they have these components. Well, I could recreate that again, but no, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I'll just pick one real quick. I mean, I'm not trying to spend too much time on this. So we have, or what do we even have? I forgot. Okay. Or I put login right. So email and password. Oh. I think I got rid of that. Oh, I'll just add some text real quick. Uh, man, why did I do that? Okay, so um, email. Well, actually, uh, so what I'm going to do is have. Um, it's basically going to show right here when they're not. I haven't clicked on it. I'm not gonna go into in detail in that. I'll show you. Okay. It's better for me to just show you than to, cause you can actually animate that in here. I won't go over that that much. <laughs> I'm trying to give you a good idea on how to use this. So. so we can make this a component, right? Command K. Dragger. I mean, if you have it, you could just paste it. So, password. We just center this, make it look a little better. Let's see, they have the. Um, wait, let me click. Where is it? So yeah, they have all the corners and stuff. So you could just re use it, really. So, and they have padding. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So anyways, we'll copy one of these buttons. These look kind of too big. We might not make them as big. Um, so I'll just show you. I could just copy the login button. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, um, so we'll get this color real quick. Oh man, the wrong thing. Okay. All right, so. Yeah, it doesn't look, or maybe it's the text that just doesn't look center. Okay, yeah. The button's a little too big. I don't think I want it that big. Hmm. If I start going to uh, design mode, I won't never stop. <laughs> We'll get to the coding soon. Okay. Let me go ahead and make this a component. Okay, so so we'll just copy this for the register. Which yeah. Oh, I don't have the back button. Oh well, but you you have the idea. You can copy the back button again, the nav bar again. I'll show you how to hook them up <laughs> so you can kind of have an idea of how it works. So, password, confirm password. And really, instead of if you have a row of things you want to recreate, another way to do it is um, let me go back. Let me just delete that real quick. Okay, so use repeat grid. Click on repeat grid right here, and you can just drag and it recreates it for you. See, so yeah, that's just another way. Um, if you go to their YouTube channel, Adobe Creative Cloud, they have uh, great tutorials, <laughs> and they even have challenges, uh, daily challenges. So, up your game on that if you want to.
Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time. I just want to give you an idea of how this works. But eventually, this will be able to generate dark code. I think someone has already done it, but it's not that <laughs> that um up to date, I guess. So yeah. And if you want to make it ungroup it, basically, you know. And then we can add border radius. I should do that before I even. <laughs> so we'll actually round these, you know. You have to double click to get to it, to the radius though. Go ahead and do it right here. See, I could just make a component. I'll show you the easy ways to do it. We don't have to keep going through and enter all this stuff. But yeah, oh, it actually uh, changes it by itself too. Depending on, like, say if you copied it, it will change it everywhere, usually. Well, it'll change the master. Thing. If you change the master thing, it'll change the rest of them. So I believe this was the master one. And then it changed this one for me. If you notice, you can go back in the video and see. I forgot about that. It's been a while. Okay, so to, like, so we're in design mode. So this is almost like mock up mode, I guess you could say. So prototype mode, right click, or is it right? Yeah, or you don't have to right click. Just click on the component you want. Say you want to go to register with this button. You just drag it to the register and log in. Just drag it here. And then, yeah. So um, I'll just show you. you. Press play. So now I click register. I go to the register. Should have a should have put a back button on there, but uh, I'll show you again. Yeah, and you can hook up the back button to go back. And yeah, that's just the way. And it even has a little record thing. So you can record that. Um, or he, you can uh, use QuickTime or whatever thing you want to use. So 